that we have had a very interesting day of cricket again, a very interesting afternoon of cricket. I tell you, the Masters team, they went out and they gave a good show, but it appears today that the pitch is a little bit slower than it was last week. And so the Masters team, they would have put on some 95 runs on the board. And so I would like to speak with the captain for the team here today, the Masters team, Mr. Eldon Carr, the man, he's, he's multi-talented. And so, Mr. Carr, coming into today's, today's game, what was your game plan? You knew you would be going up against Bounty Hall, and sometimes we have things to say about teams, but Bounty Hall is no matchup for Masters. Or did you think that, boy, we have to come with a good enough game plan so that we can attack the Bounty Hall um, gamut of players in order to secure a victory? What was your plan coming into today's game? First, I must congratulate Bounty Hall. We, well, our game plan was that we would want to bat as far, the openers to bat as far as possible down in the over, which they, do, they did to a certain extent. But for some reason, we lost it somewhere along the line. So, congratulations again to Bounty Hall. All right, and as I always say, cricket is a game where it is played ball by ball. The ball is round and the result is unpredictable. We can't predict the score for a cricket match until the end of it. And so it was a very good match up here this afternoon. And so Mr. Carr, I want to thank you for the Masters team coming because I said it earlier that in the, in the knockout round, your team was the team that made the most runs, 171 runs. And so we see that your team is not just a walkover. And so we know that you have it in the bag and you have the talent there. So we look forward to the next match you will have in two weeks' time. So we wish you all the best, Captain Carr. Thank you. All right. And so we move over now to Captain Carlington Johnson of the Bounty Hall cricket team. They were the champions for 2019. And so based on the standings because there was no competition last year and so there's no defending champion for this year and so Bounty Hall came into this competition this year as any other team but they said they have it to win it and so they came here today with a game plan I'm sure and so the captain himself Carlington Johnson is here with me at this time and I just want to ask Captain Johnson going out there I saw you from early, I saw you with your team and I saw that you know you had your meeting what was it for you? What did you tell yourself that you needed to do to secure a victory here this afternoon? Well, first I most want to say thanks to my team. But, I mean, we really go here to the uh, plan because for about a year or so we have been in the kitchen. So, you know, we have been a good fan. So, because of that, Right here, and so I try to restrain my ass. I didn't try to go there and try to pull them out. That's the main thing, just to restrain them out. So, within the, within the 20 overs with us, that's it. The plan did work with us. Go and pull the ball in the right area, and we ended up restraining them to 195. So, that was the plan. In terms of batting, we know that we have batting. We haven't played cricket for such a long time, so we just ask the guys into us. Bat slow, bad ball come, capitalize and kind of bat himself into a little farm. So we try to move forward from this game. Very good, very good. And you know, I'm really happy with what you said there. You know, I haven't played cricket for a while. And, um, you know, the team just came together and decided just to make things work. We're going to make things happen. And as they say, teamwork makes the dream work. And so that is what worked here today for Bounty Hall. And so I'm sure they're smiling their way back to Bounty Hall this afternoon. And so as we move forward, we want to thank everybody for tuning in, for watching, for coming to the Trelawney Stadium and being a part of SDC T20 Community Cricket Competition. Now the competition continues next week, Saturday. We have Clarkstown, we have Troy, we have Spicy Hill and we have Alps 
who will be contesting next week and each team will be coming to try to secure a victory what a competition this is and let me say that guess what nobody should consider themselves top dogs in this competition because a lot of upsets have been happening we don't know what is next the ball is round but from here to over there next week, we ask you to continue to support SDC Community Cricket. Continue to watch Jamaica Street Sports. Continue to like and continue to watch because guess what? Every week the matches are uploaded and so if you don't catch it here, you can catch it on YouTube. So continue to watch us. Continue to like us. Continue to support us. We are SDC. We are Jamaica Street Sports. 